Hello everyone, welcome back. Star Scorecard, G-Code 5.4H, this is video number two. Video number two, we're talking about geometry, we're talking about area and perimeter and volume. Okay, those are hugely important vocab terms, you have to know them. This is video number two, so we're not going to go over it. Watch video number one for the vocab. Okay, the side links of a field are shown below. What is the perimeter of the field? Perimeter! All the way around, so you have to add these links up, okay? And this one's tricky because A, you have a decimal, so you have to line up the decimal, and then B, you have different decimal values. This is 39 hundredths, this is 6 tenths. So how do we do that? Okay, 0 0 0.60, 0 0.39, uh, 9, and 9, ah, 0 0.99, okay? So we got those added. So we'll do 1.2 plus 0.99 is, look, we can add a zero. 2 plus 9 is 11, carry my 1, 2, and then we'll, all right, so now we got this one. So 2.19, 2.19 .19 plus 0.81. 9 plus 1 is 0, 10, right, carry the 1, 0. Carry the one. Three. Three miles is the perimeter of the field. That's a crazy, wonky shaped field. Three miles is the perimeter. Okay. So I think you guys can see the blue, but I'll write just in case. So the perimeter that these side lengths is two inches, one inch, two, and one. The figure below uh, represents the floor of a building. Use a ruler provided to measure the dimensions of the figure to the nearest inch. Which measurement is closest to the perimeter in feet of the floor of the actual building? So that's one inch, right? I, I did the measuring for you. Um, one inch equals 20 feet. Oh, so we need to multiply. One times 20 is 20. One times 20 is 20. Ah, but it's two inches. Ah! So it should be two times 20, because that was two inches equals 40. So that's 40. One times 20 is 20. So that's 20. Okay, so what's 40 plus 40 is 80 plus 20 plus 20? Look, 80 plus 20 plus 20 plus 40 is 120. Okay. Don't get confused by the, the, the oh, you have to, to use your ruler and you got to measure. It gave you the measurement. One inch equals 20 feet. Okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a scale. So if this is two inches, what is two inches times 20? 40. One inch times 20 is 20. And so there's our feet. There's our measurement. Okay, last question on the video. Mr. Williams bought an ice chest filled with water bottles to band practice. He, he brought it to band practice. A model of the ice chest is shown below. 18, 19, 30. Height, width, depth. Okay, length times width times height. Find the volume in cubic inches. Okay, it's talking about inches and it's cubic because it's volume is 3D of the ice chest. So we have to multiply these together. So let's do... 19 times 30. 30 times 19. Add my zero. We'll scooch over to the three. Three times nine is 27. Three times one is one. Plus two is five. 570. Ah, that's wrong. Look, they gave you an option that is wrong. 19 times 30 is 570. But we have to multiply because it's volume, so it's length times width times height. So 570, we've got to be good with our multiplication. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 5 is 40 plus 5 is 45. My columns are all in order. Add my 0, then do my 1. 1, or 0, 7, 5. 0, 6, 12. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry my 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 5 is 10. 10,260 cubic inches.
Let me know what you need. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you.